Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an exciting tutorial for you. We'll be showing you how to set up your own cloud storage solution using Nextcloud on an Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. Whether you want to secure your files or collaborate with your team, Nextcloud has got you covered. So, let's dive right into it. Nextcloud is a popular open source software platform that allows you to create your own cloud storage solution. It provides a range of services similar to those offered by commercial cloud storage providers like Dropbox. Google Drive, or OneDrive. The key difference is that Nextcloud allows you to have complete control over your data by hosting it on your own servers or a trusted server of your choice. Nextcloud is a versatile platform that can be used for personal file hosting, collaboration within a team, or even as an enterprise-level solution for organizations with strict security and privacy requirements. In this tutorial, I will use a Contabo VPS to install Nextcloud but you can use even your own server with Ubuntu 22.04 installed on it. Using a VPS like Contabo to host Nextcloud provides you with control, security, performance, and scalability benefits. It's a flexible and cost-effective solution for individuals and organizations looking to run their own cloud storage and collaboration platform. Plus, you are assured the server is always online 24-7. Before we start, make sure you have the following. A VPS running Ubuntu 22.04 SSH access to your VPS. A domain name it is optional, but recommended. You can get a domain from domain providers like Namecheap. You also need basic understanding of the Linux command line. Now, let's connect to the VPS. If you are on a Windows machine you can use a tool like PuTTY to connect to your VPS using SSH. I'm on a Linux machine so I will just use the terminal to connect to the VPS. It's essential to keep your system up to date before installing a new application. Run these commands to update your system. Start by installing the Apache web server. In this tutorial, we are going to set up Nextcloud with the LAMP stack. Next start and enable the service by running these commands. You can check the status of the Apache server by running this command. As you can see it is running just fine. Next install PHP and some extensions. Run the following command. Let us now install the InstallMariaDB database server. Install the database by running the following command. After installation start and enable the Maria database with the following commands. Check the status of the database using this command. The database is running just fine press Ctrl then C to exit.
You can check the version of the database installed using this command. Now, let's set up a database for Nextcloud. Follow these steps. First access the MySQL shell. Create a new database by running this command. A new database named Nextcloud will be created. With this command a new user Nextcloud will be created with the password I'm entering. Plus the new user will be granted all privileges on the Nextcloud database. After making changes to user accounts or privileges, using flush privileges ensures that the changes take effect without having to restart the MySQL server. Change the directory to the HTML folder and then download the latest version of Nextcloud. You can check the latest release from the Nextcloud index. You can clearly see the latest release at the end of the index page. I will download the one released a few months before guess it is more stable. Once the download is complete you can extract the zip file. The extraction will take some time so be patient. Set the correct permissions on the extracted folder by running this command. Let us now create an Apache virtual host file. Let us begin by creating a configuration file by running this command. Now paste in the following content. You can find the content in the article I have linked to in the description of the video. The article also has all the commands I have used in this tutorial. Press Ctrl then O to save the file. After saving the file you can exit by pressing Ctrl then X. You can activate your config with the following command. Check the syntax of the Apache 2 configuration by running this command. Since I will be accessing the Nextcloud using a real domain that I purchased from Namecheap, let me open the configurations again and input my domain. I forgot to enter it earlier on. As you can see I can now access the next cloud using my domain. You need to create a record in your DNS that points to your VPS IP address in order for this to happen. There is my Contabo VPS IP address the second one in the list. This is the dashboard for Namecheap. I guess you can see the record I created pointing to my Contabo VPS.
create an admin account for your next cloud application. Enter the database username, password and the database name. You created all these earlier during the configurations of the database. We can now proceed and start the installation of Nextcloud on the VPS. This can take some time depending on how powerful your VPS is. If you will be accessing the Nextcloud server with a number of people purchase a VPS or VDS with more memory and CPU. Click on Install Recommended Apps so they can be installed. The installation is now complete. You can also download desktop and mobile clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android and so on, so you can access Nextcloud from anywhere. And there you have it. You've successfully installed Nextcloud on your Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. You can now start using your own private cloud storage solution. Explore the application and check out the documentation so you get to know how it works. Let us now install an SSL certificate via CertBot. Enable SSL for secure connections by running this command. After installing CertBot run this command. The command is used to automatically obtain and install an SSL certificate for a website hosted on an Apache web server. This command is part of the CertBot tool, which is a free, open source software that simplifies the process of obtaining and managing SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. The SSL certificate has now been installed let us check if it is working.
As you can see the site is now using a valid SSL certificate. That's a wrap for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Until next time, happy cloud storage.